Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Big week in the world of golf, yes. big day in the uh, golf equipment world. Instagram kind of blew up this morning with the, uh, the TWs. Yeah, the f official launch, uh, I think people have known these have been coming for a while, the official Tiger designed irons. Uh, two years in the making to, to get these exactly uh, the way Tiger wanted them. He obviously put them in the bag early in the season. Yep. But you can officially purchase Tiger's exact Tiger spec iron. irons. Yeah. What was your first reaction when you saw them in person? Because we, we basically just walked in this morning and had yeah, them in the shop. Yeah, had so. them in here. Um, you know, there's a wow factor there. Yeah. There really is. Uh, there's, there's a serious, serious wow factor. They are gorgeous. Every, they're, they're an iron that everyone would aspire to play. Yep. No question. Um, Could you play them though? <laughs> That's the real question. Look yeah. at the soles on them. They're so narrow. So narrow. I mean, yeah, I mean, it'd, it'd be interesting. Well, we're going to see. We're going to hit them. Well, you, and first sort of, of all, you like it. I'm probably asking the wrong person. Yeah. You like a narrow sole. I was going to say, iron, I, you? They, you know, I had a hit a few with them earlier on. And they yep. felt really, really nice. The, uh, the odd thing for me was just how weak the lofts are. Right. So um, traditional, right? So traditional. I mean, like, I, I'm not. A strong loft. I don't play strong lofts by today's terms. I would say I play standard lofts by today's terms. You play modern lofts, but not, not yeah. strong. So yeah. like my seven iron is 33, whereas this is 35. Um, so you know, when I first started hitting a few, it was a little bit like, like what's the ball only goes 165. My seven. Um, you, is he? Do you think he plays the weakest lofts on tour, or are there other guys that probably oh, play I, similar? I think he pretty much plays the weakest lofts on tour. It's I crazy. can't think of someone who's playing weaker lofts off the top of my yeah. head, but um, it's up there. Yeah, he, he really is up there. Well, I mean, let's dive into kind of some of the subtleties, uh, some of the tigerisms <coughs> yes. uh, that he's built into them. Uh, we have to start with uh, the, the kind of the, the bit that seems to get everyone's attention or has got everyone's attention. Uh, the tungsten plug in the back of the iron. So it's kind of right at impact right point? Ba like right behind the sweet spot, so relocating the mass to where you really would want that to be. So a little bit of pop out of a blade iron yeah. is basically the point of it. And, and we've, to be honest, we've kind of had to bite our tongue about that for a while because yeah. we've kind of known that that's built into Tiger's iron and, mm. and the, the kind of unveiling was going to come now when these irons came out. So. We've had to kind of bite our tongue on, on actually talking about that. And that's the first uh, time he's kind of let a company say this is what's exactly. in Tiger's Irons. So, he, I mean, they're selling them to that point, yeah. so they know every little you know speck about that's them. That's right. Tell me why the sole is milled. It looks like the milled grind tailor-made wedges. Yeah. What's that about? Well, I mean, the, the whole milled concept for Tiger, um, going with the, 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 the milled process, yep. is for him to replicate his irons much more easily. So he doesn't want it to be... I don't like build 50 sets and most of them are Correct. crap kind of thing. Yeah. He, so he it, wants it to come him. up with a prototype with a blueprint mm. with like a like a, a, a mold almost. Yeah, yeah. And then so he wants to be able to he wants to change over his irons much much quicker. So yep. you know it, I think it took them. Well, they they said they you know they talked about the hundreds of hours of prototyping the eight different models they made for yep. him yep. before they they got to this the exact right spec and um, you know they they're, they are different subtly different from the other. Uh, you know the P730, which was the the blade that TaylorMade came out with. Yep. Um, so he has he has sort of longer blade lengths, and uh, his his kind of face heights are progressive, and there's just oh, okay. there's just everything about it is 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 exactly catering to his eye. Yep. The top line's a bit thinner, all that sort of it's stuff. Really it's cool. got his X100s, it's got his Tour Velvet full cords, all that sort of uh, Tiger, all this Tiger stuff. It's cool. It's that cool that they, seen. I mean, they weren't not going to do that, but it's cool to see they've done everything yeah. exactly the way he plays them, it kind is, of thing. It is. So, will we hit some? Well, you will hit some, yes, absolutely. So, we are only allowed to hit the seven iron. Yeah. You're looking at pictures of the full box that yeah. comes with the set right now. It's exactly. gorgeous. Three to pitching wedge will be the set, obviously. Yeah. Three or four, yeah, they come in three or four, so you can... Uh, you can, you can just of, get seven pieces? Yeah, you can get seven yes. pieces or eight, whichever you'd prefer. Mm. Um, I mean, you've got to wonder, are most people going to buy these and never play them? Yeah, so we I were, think that's going to happen I think a lot, lot of people will just collect them, whether or not they end up... They're making a thousand at the first run. Yeah. Um, whether they end up making mm. another run of a thousand, yeah. maybe, but needless to say, it's a limited edition item. Since you and I picked up this iron, both of us have done only one thing. Polish it off. I, it's, it's bugging me. You don't want to see, there's a little tiny mark like on there from on someone. There. I know, it's, look it's, at that. It's making I'm my heart break. I know, I know. All right.
drop the mic moment, I think. That's, yeah, that's nice. That last one was, so you got your spin over 6,000, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Your, your path and everything the way you wanted it. 170, a little bit more like the carries yeah. at a distance. So fair enough to say once you'd warmed into it, you weren't losing 20 yards, but you were, it's, you know, with the loft, eight to 10 yards down makes sense. Yeah, so there's, there's a sort of progression as, yeah, as you warm into it, and then you've got... <laughs> and then you blade one. No, <laughs> it was, didn't even sound that bad. I, it was, it I was gonna say to you, like, oh, a couple terrible, grooves yeah. low, and then you lost 15 yards. So yeah. let's, let's obviously yeah. wipe that out. But looking at the consistency of the spins... Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and that height was just increasing as the velocity increased, it was... So it's funny that these go so high, so our friend Jonathan Long was lucky enough to play with Tiger for seven holes at, at Albany and he said to me, Crazy. I said what was the one thing you noticed about his, yeah, I, can't, I could go on about that story for a year, but the one thing he said was his golf ball just goes extremely high, yeah. like it looked higher than any tour players he had seen. Right. And that makes sense, I mean mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got more speed than, than, uh, than most mm -hmm. tour players and he's got the weakest lofts and he's got a spinning golf ball. Yeah. So he's, he's looking to flight the ball, I mean he's looking to win the Masters, what he's looking to do. <laughs> That's right. He's, on the green he's looking for those pockets yep. uh, on on those small shelves at Augusta and, and keep and the ball exactly major, there. Yeah, that's no right. Surprises. That was a little bit of a laugh, wasn't it? You must yeah, be, you're going to be mean, one of the first people to hit them. It, it's just, aren't you, yeah? it's just, it's awesome. And obviously, yeah. we are huge Tiger fanboys. We always have been. Um, we weren't going to be, we weren't going to be uh, negative about yeah, them. That's for sure. But no. I mean, it's cool that they. It seems just from first glance that they've done it properly. They, are they haven't cut any corners. Or. You're certainly going to pay for it. They're not cheap, yeah. and you're going to have a hard time finding them. But yeah. um, well, hopefully, we'll guys. Fun, right? uh, yeah, I mean, it's, there's not that many people who are obviously going to get the opportunity. It's a limited set, but we got um, the first box in in North America. I'm yeah. told for a YouTube channel. I don't know yeah. if anyone else has made a video yet. I, I hope I'm who right knows, about that. But who knows? We're going to uh, we're going to claim that for now. That in <laughs> itself is bringing a smile to our faces. It is. Love yeah. to get something so first. Huge thank you to Graham over at Tell Yes, Graham, for, thank you very much for making that happen. Um, Drove all the way here this morning. Which yeah, awesome. no, the, the support from TaylorMade this year has been phenomenal. Um, you know, we, we've definitely strengthened ties yes. with the marketing department over there in the sense that they are now really supporting the channel definitely. and we are hugely uh, yeah. thankful for that. And it's, it shows in stuff like when Chris came yeah. from Mizuno, like those types of relationships. Oh, it's huge. I mean, this is a brand agnostic shop and the yeah. more of those relationships yeah. you build, it's not that you're favoring one, but it's just the resources that you can have to it's have massive. better information yeah. is so much better. No, it's great. We really appreciate it. So speaking of Tiger, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll tease the next video. We're going to build Tiger's exact driver spec. We've got ah. the shaft coming from Mitsubishi. It's it's somewhere in, in the postage. Right. We got to get his M5 spec the way, and we can make it a lefty, so I can oh, do yeah. that one. For we'll sure. Make, we'll make a pair. Maybe we'll both hit it. Yeah, because that's a little uh, Diamana. I always get the, the new shaft in there, isn't it? Diamana yeah. D Plus Limited 60 TX. Yeah, yeah. So he's just moved out the 70 TX, the one that he <coughs> uh, basically uh, copied Brooks Kepka's yep. uh, setup and, and ended up with his own. So I think the Tiger driver is more interesting now because Tiger's hitting fairways yeah, and he's, really he's hitting good yeah. drives. It's not like, oh, who cares about Tiger's driver? It's his worst club. It's actually mm -hmm. an interesting club now. I mean, his irons will always be the weapon and the putter, yeah. but it's nice to see him hitting some drives down the pipe. All right, it's gonna be a big week. All right, Augusta. hope you guys enjoyed those uh, fancy shots of the the box and yep. the, the irons and stuff like that. It was fun. Definitely, fun to definitely. Have in. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.